but we're going to be boogieing, so I don't know, maybe 15 miles. So here we are getting ready to head out for day two. We are headed to the Cement Ridge Overlook today, so we're all pretty excited. We've seen a lot of pictures, and we're really looking forward to seeing it with our own eyes. And uh, take some pictures and take a video or two and share it with all of you. So enjoy. So one of the things that frustrates me about these videos is the lack of, you know, definition as far as elevation, speed, how much machines tip in. You know, you just can't get a feel for what these trails are really like. And I did a lot of research and I was able to find a way to add some telemetry to my front cam. I can do it to the rear cam, but it gets just, in my opinion, kind of busy on the screen all the time. So it's kind of a nice little break. Uh, I can't do it for my in-cab footage this trip. Um, I can't, my GoPro just didn't pick up the GPS data, but uh, the front cam did, and uh, I'm kind of excited. You'll, you'll see it debut today. So please, if you've got any suggestions, things you like, things you don't like, or, or any comments, uh, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. I left the rear facing camera up a little longer than normal. Uh, just wanted to show you what can happen when you're a prick when you're leading. Uh, I'm dusting out the machine behind me and they're trying to keep some space so they can breathe. And I kept slowing down, letting them catch back up because I wanted to keep the group together. I mean, I was trying to do the right thing, but in trying to do the right thing, I made kind of their ride a little bit dustier than it needed to be. So sorry about that guys and you know find a way to get your ride command or get your radios going we have these little walkie talkies but they were kind of a joke all right so here is the telemetry overlay uh, in the lower left hand corner you've got the miles per hour or speed of the machine to the right is that is pitch that's how much the machine is pointed up or down you've got the roll to the right of that, which is the leaning to the left or right. Uh, in the center, you have the G's. That's how many G-forces the machine is feeling, actually, the camera, technically. To the right of that is the altitude. Uh, you can see at the beginning of the day, we're at like 5,300 uh, feet. End of the day, 6,700 feet. There's, there's roughly 1,400 feet of elevation change. Uh, above in the center is the compass showing which direction we're going to the right of that is the immediate map and occasionally like right now you'll see there's a road showing and whatnot so you can kind of see exactly where we are and the left is the overall route that we took uh, with the available GPS telemetry that we had uh, most of my cameras the front and the rear recorded on this particular trip but our in-cab camera did not uh, it gets a little confusing on the rear footage, so I'm not showing any on this video, but if that's something you think you'd be interested in seeing, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Hope you enjoy.
Now, if I remember, there was a ton of roads to get out here. We had to cover a fair amount of distance. I think this was like a 150 mile day. But uh, so there, there's a fair amount of roads getting out there. But once we got near Cement Ridge, the trails definitely improved and got a lot more fun. So hang in there. Yeah, I guess I like that view. Uh, this was definitely a sign of the day. The, the views on this day were amazing. I remember running into this grader. I'm not sure what South Dakota puts on their gravel roads. Uh, I mean, it makes for an excellent surface to drive on, but it like coats your machine and it is a nightmare to get off. So I skipped ahead quite a bit and got rid of about 20 or 30 miles of road riding there um, and we're picking back up. I guess it's safe to say this tree's been here a while. This tree across the trail is actually what prompted me to start carrying a collapsible saw. Just in case or you come to a tree across the trail and you can't get around it this way, you got something to take care of it with.
you look at the pitch there on the screen, you can see we're starting to go downhill at a pretty good uh, clip. It's getting rocky. We're doing our best to maneuver down the trail. It's not like this is anything hard or anything like that, but it's certainly out of the norm and kind of fun. So we were enjoying ourselves at this point. need to keep an eye on that pitch gauge you just don't know when you're climbing you know from the video I've seen that on multiple videos in the past and thought nothing of it but and the telemetry is pretty handy for showing you when we're climbing I'll give it that
So you see us coming up on a gate up there. Most of the uh, ranges are free range. The animals can just they stay out there all season. And they just have gates across the trails. They usually have signs, hey, feel free to come through, but just make sure you close the gate when you're done. So that's all we're doing here, opening up the gate. We're not trespassing, we're on legal trails, permission to do so, so nobody get all freaked out that we're like breaking into somebody's property here. Uh, as long as you close the gate behind you, you're all good. And no, I didn't just leave my wife. We decided to take a break there after uh, it was nice enough to be in We gotta point out this one. Anyone that's ridden with me for any period of time knows I miss turns all the time. So this is uh, me flying by a turn. It comes up here on the right and there it is. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, gotta turn around. Uh, the rest of the group caught it. I don't know if I waved to them or what, uh, but uh, they did not miss the turn. You can see them waiting for me there. So anyway, here we go. in our own business and then all of a sudden hey buddy No big deal, just a 15 degree grade, no problem.
I know what you're thinking. I mean, what kind of gentleman just sends his wife out to take care of the gate duty every time? And all I can say is, I mean, we'd stop, she'd see the gate, and she'd just jump out and get all over it. So it's not like I'm kicking her out or anything like that, but definitely appreciative of being able to sit on my butt while she takes care of the gate, you know, opens her up, closes it behind all of us. Yeah, thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got rid of at least 10 miles of dirt road riding there and uh, we're back on the trail. We are now making our way towards the Cement Ridge Lookout Tower, which is just amazing. So I've always been leading groups, whether it was on snowmobiles or, you know, four-wheelers, side-by-sides, whatever. Uh, I don't claim to be a great leader, and this video, this particular clip just demonstrates it, but it happened throughout the whole trip, I'm sure, and other trips after it. Uh, I'm looking at the map here, you know, trying to turn, you know, decide which way to turn. And I decide, oh, we got to turn left here. but. Meanwhile, I go extra slow so that the machine behind me can catch all that dust and, you know, I think nothing of it. I, I just go on about my day because I'm in fresh, clean air where I don't realize how bad it is behind me. Just re you know, em emphasizes to me the importance of either having a radio so people don't know which way you went. If somehow that dust magically settled, uh, then call you on the radio. Uh, Polaris Ride Command, whether it's on your machine or on your phone, that's another great tool. Just be considerate of the rest of your group so that they have as much fun as you do.
So we're making our ascent up to Cement Ridge Lookout Tower. Uh, we've been looking forward to this moment for a long time. Uh, I don't think, I mean, we've seen pictures and stuff and whatnot, but the trail leading up to it, it really did a good job of building up the excitement. And when we finally got to the point where we could start to see where it opens up and you can see for a long ways, I think we were all kind of caught off guard. I know I was, it was breathtaking and it was just amazing. Like right now is when I really started to realize this is gonna be awesome. And it did not disappoint at all. I was pretty excited to uh, get out of the razor and get the drone up in the air, get some shots. Uh, I'm not a you know professional drone pilot or anything like that. I'm just a hobbyist hack at best. But uh, the footage turned out pretty good. Uh, again, I I ran into this on another trip where I had the wrong color filters on, so the color isn't as good as it could be. But you get the idea. I hope you enjoy. That's it. We were headed back down the mountain. We had spent quite a bit of time at Cement Ridge. Took a lot of pictures and obviously some video there and really enjoyed it. I mean, it's one of those things, it's an automatic for me. If I see a lookout tower or anywhere near where we're going, I'm gonna make sure we stop. It's just so cool. I uh, highly encourage you to do the same. Uh, and now we're moving on. We're, we're headed back down the mountain. Looks like somebody's gonna miss this left-hand turn he is supposed to take. Oh, he realized it. 
Well, hopefully you can get turned around before the rest of the group sees. When we were planning this trip to Cement Ridge, uh, it's technically across the border in Wyoming. Uh, we knew getting there was going to take a good portion of the day, and we spent a lot of time up there. Uh, so lunch was going to be late today, and we were all getting pretty hungry, ready to uh, get back to the cabin and have a beer. So luckily, the, the route out of Cement Ridge is just nothing but dirt road. I mean, you're hauling butt. Uh, you can see our speeds are over 30 miles an hour and, and making up a, a lot of ground. Uh, so the, that was good. It was fun uh, to be able to uh, see everything we saw and fulfill all of our, our check boxes for the day. So we were headed down the mountain towards uh, Lead, and we stopped at the Trails Head Lodge there uh, for lunch. Uh, everybody had a good time. It was a nice stop a little later in the day. Uh, unfortunately, that's when I realized that I was starting to not feel well at all. Uh, it was something that plagued about half of our group. One of us went down uh, just about every other day from each other. I'm not quite sure what it was, but man, it was as fast as it would come, it would go, and it was not not fun at all. But uh, this place was cool. We were able to stop, get some food, and I ended up uh, handing the keys over to my wife, Linda, and she drove us the rest of the way. But unfortunately, getting fuel here is about the last of the video I have for the day. But man, it was uh, it was a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the video.